playing against. We're playing in the league with very rich tradition and, uh, and not just good basketball teams, but really good basketball programs uh, and, and historic programs. And, you know, obviously, Temple, one of the winners programs in college basketball history. So for us, it isn't just a win simply for our basketball team, our current basketball team, but a win for our program um, because you're going against uh, you know, an outstanding coach, outstanding team, and uh, you know, great, great tradition in one of the best programs in the country, and that's the way it is most nice when we line up in this league. So I guess they're very determined to you know, throw themselves into the, in, into the fire, into the mix with, uh, with the teams, particularly uh, the programs that are the elite in our conference. And again, we'll take questions for the uh, student athletes. Please raise your hand for a question. Uh, Adam will get a microphone over to you. Any questions for the student athletes, please. Cantrell, uh, obviously a, a big game today. Was anything special? It was working well for you, or you know, how did you uh, kind of play this well? Well, just kind of keeping the main thing, the main thing, come out and do things that we know we do well. And for me, I was just trying to stay involved do my strength, which is rebounding and stand attack mode. Other questions, please, for the student athletes? I would like to add really quickly with Kentrell, particularly, uh, when the team goes out early and then they come back on the floor, come back into the locker room, uh, probably about the 12 minute, 12 minute mark, he came in limping, a very obvious limp, and I went to the trainer and said, what's going on? And uh, he said, I haven't seen him, so he went to see him. And one of the other assistant coaches said, yeah, he was limping coming off the floor. And uh, there was a minute there that we weren't even sure he was going to be able to play. And the trainer got a hold of him and started doing a few things, put him on the bike right before the game started. So we weren't even sure we were going to have him out there on the floor. And for him to doubt a performance like this is, um, is outstanding because literally I mean, he, he was dragging it. He looked like the mummy walking into the locker room at the 12-minute mark when he was able to turn it around, a heck, a heck of an effort, after uh, clearly being in some pain. Hey, good question. Uh, well, my, my knee, my right knee, is like my jumping knee, so a lot of jumping off of it is like, I, I think I have like tendonitis in it, and when I jump too much off of it, it's like a short pain in it, so like when I press down on my, my knee, I can like barely feel it, so just did a little treatment and got some stuff on it, helped me out. Other questions for the student athletes? Elijah, if I can give one to you, if you could just talk about uh, the upcoming matchup with SMU, obviously a team that um, uh, has, has had a pretty good year and had a, had a pretty good uh, performance against against your guys the last time out. What do you expect? What do you have to do tomorrow to, uh, to get the win against the Mustangs? Um, we just got to uh, lock in defensively. And once we do that, we get the rebound again. Out of transition, I feel like we're as good as anyone in this league. Um, and we just got to yeah, just lock in offensively and defensively, attack, get to the paint, and create plays. Kentro, Ken, you were obviously feeling it today. Did you take it upon yourself to really take it at, at them, knowing that, you know, it seems like they couldn't stop what you were doing? Well, I had a huge pep talk with one of the assistant coaches, and the talk was about just trying to build a legacy here, trying to do something that's never been done here. And, just dialing in and being focused on the next play and just giving it your all and don't give up. Go 150% all you can every game. So that was the focus this game coming in. Anything else for the student athletes? <coughs> we'll excuse the student athletes to the locker room. If, uh, Coach Perry, if you would rain, take, a, take questions from the media. Uh, student athletes, if you'd please exit to your left right of the store. Coach, you shot a lot better from beyond New York than you have on the season today. Uh, that and your ability to defend them beyond New York, do you think those are two of the keys today? Yeah, obviously, uh, when we can make threes, uh, that's, you know, that's a, a, a tremendous plus for our team. And it's been frustrating in, in some cases, uh, the three-point shooting, because we've got some guys that can really shoot the ball well, and uh, they've struggled uh, during the course of the year being able to shoot it. So we have some nights in which the guys <coughs> shoot it well, and some nights in which they don't. Just haven't had the consistency that we have, you know, that we would expect with the type of shooters that we have. Because we have some guys who can really shoot the ball, 
and the, and the numbers are consistent in all the drill work and in practices, but being able to do it in games consistently has been uh, a bit of a struggle for us, and, and that's probably reflected in our three-point uh, shooting percentage, but we're a lot better shooting team than what our numbers indicate. And defensively, uh, and I've said it a few times, but uh, def uh, we've gone from a team that was known for uh, the offensive execution and three-point shooting and, uh, to a team that's known for stellar defense, you know, one of the tops in the country in terms of defensive field goal percentage. And obviously we're anchored by Andre Washington. But even when Andre's not on the floor, he's been able to impact our team and make them value defense even more. And we were able to play a small down uh, tonight when Temple went small. And our guys were very tenacious and very aggressive and scrambling around the floor. And, uh, it's, and a big part of it has been because with Trey back there, uh, he's giving them a lot more confidence in being able to to be aggressive defensively. Any other questions for Coach Perry, please? <coughs> Coach Mike, you from the Hartford Current. Just your thoughts on tomorrow's matchup, please. Wow. I was hoping I wouldn't hear that. I'm trying to enjoy this one a little bit more. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's like one of those comedy skits, you know, you, you know, the good news is that we won, the bad news, you got SMU. Uh, they're a really good team. I mean, we were joking about they beat us and beat a lot of other teams in the league, like somebody owed them some money. They were really, really good, obviously. Um, I think before the season, Coach Lebo said their top five guys, this is early in the year, their top five guys could very easily be uh, first team all conference, and they were pretty close to it this year between the first and the second team. Almost all of their guys were represented uh, on the all conference team. Um, they're good at every, at every level and every facet of the game defensively. Uh, offensive execution. Uh, they have guys that can score it in multiple ways, multiple position guys. Uh, so outside of praying, we got to figure out some other things that we got to do to show them some different looks. Uh, but one thing we're going to do, we're going to be competitive. We're going to show up to fight, ready to play. We're going to go out with the intention of going out to win a basketball game. Because when we lace it up and we wear the ECU uniform, that's what we're about. We're going out to try to win. And though we have a very formidable opponent, uh, almost um, an impossible opponent, to face, uh, we're ready for that challenge. Your final question for Coach Perry. Coach, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.